Thank you for joining me for a short video where I'll discuss how to find an option's fair value. Now the concept of fair value is an integral part of the investment process. The value investment methodology seeks to find assets trading below their fair value, buy and hold them until they trade at or above their fair value. This is the task that Wall Street analysts devote most of their time to. They develop models to try to understand the fair value of an asset, like a stock, and then they publish their estimates. A popular model that they use is the discounted cash flow model. The discounted cash flow model assumes that a stock is worth the sum of all of its future cash flows. So the analyst will estimate the cash flows in each of the coming quarters, and then it will discount, the model will discount the value of all of those cash flows, recognizing the fact that a dollar in the future will be worth less than a dollar is today, assuming inflation. So they'll use the weighted average cost of capital or a discount rate such as the interest rate on treasury notes. So that's the discounted cash flow model. It simply assumes the stock is worth all of the cash it's going to generate in the future. Same idea applies to an option. Let's take a very simple example. Let's say a stock is at 80, and you know with certainty it will be at either 85 or 75 when that option expires. In other words, you know the option will be worth either $5 or $0. The fair value is the amount that you should pay for it today. Assuming a 50-50 probability of each outcome, the fair value of that option is $2.50. Let's say there's a 90% probability the option will expire worthless. Well, the fair value of the option now is reduced to just 50 cents. So the fair value of an option is simply the weighted value of all of its possible outcomes discounted back to the current price. There's a model for this. This is how you would find the value of a call using the Black-Scholes model. And you have the various inputs. Of course, it's, there's not quite an infinite number of outcomes, but there are a large number of possible outcomes. So the math is going to get a little bit more complicated and a lot of assumptions are going to be needed to calculate the fair value of an option using a model like this. It's really not realistic because of the amount of processing power required for an individual investor to process th this model continuously throughout the day looking for undervalued opportunities. Fortunately, there's a simpler approach. You can simply use an online calculator and a fair approximation of fair value is given by an option calculator maintained by the CBOE. They're an options exchange, so their calculator is unbiased. They're not trying to influence your decision. They're simply trying to provide information. Now, here's what their model looks like. You would go to their calculator, and you greet it with a blank screen. You would enter in the symbol of interest and click Go. It would auto-populate then. And the option value, you have here the estimated value under the model for a call and a put with this expiration date and this strike price. Now you can customize and change the values for the price. So if you're doing an intraday calculation, you would update it with the current price. You can customize the strike price of the option and you can select the expiration date. You could also change volatility, interest rates, or other factors if you chose to, but there's no need to. The calculator will do that for you. Now, why would this be important? Well, the fair value could be helpful when setting limit orders. What you'll find in experience is the fair value of the option is often going to be close to the midpoint of the bid and ask. If the calculator tells you that the fair value is $1.10, don't be surprised to see the values in the market 
a dollar bid and a dollar 20 ask. Now, the market price may not be close to the fair value. And this will be especially true in fast moving markets. In that case, remember that using the fair value is likely to result in an order not being filled. So when markets are highly volatile, you'll see deviations from the fair value and you'll have to decide whether that presents an opportunity or not. There are many reasons an option can trade away from its fair value and just sticking strictly with the fair value could cost you trading opportunities. Despite the limitations, I do hope you find the fair value in this video to be useful concepts to help you in your trading. Thank you for joining me.